was a shift once you felt more comfortable mm -hmm. with Shaquille. There was a hell of a shift. I mean, when he brought out the strawberries, I was like, what is going on? <laughs> so we'll try some. Okay. Trust me? Yeah. You sure? Uh-huh. You sure? Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Everything shifted in your marriage, but as you leaned in, Shaquille pulled back. Shaquille, it was always hard to read him because sometimes if I feel like he had a lack of interest in something, he didn't really give it much attention. Do you think you were one of those things? I know for sure I was. Really? Yeah. Shaq, is that true? No. I like Kirsten. I liked her from day one. You like her? Or did you start to fall in love with your wife? I wanted to fall in love with Kirsten. Why did I, you? I didn't. It was hard. Why? I think it was hard because it was just like a lot of pressure. And it was like, like I don't know if I'm doing good or doing bad in the moment. And I'm like, like Kirsten, I definitely want to be with you, but I don't know how. Shaquille and I had this conversation because I saw that he was putting a lot of pressure on himself. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Shaquille, just calm down. Like, I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. I don't want you to feel pressure. I don't want you to feel forced. And when you say pressure, how? Because this is a really tough experience. Mm -hmm. He had told me one time he wasn't his best self. Mm -hmm. It was several times where he shut down. And I'm just like, if you keep shutting down, we can't move forward. We cannot. I really feel like the process had just got the best of him, honestly. But now, looking back through the process, I can acknowledge, like, my flaws and yes. say, like, yeah. wow, like, I didn't even know I did it at that point in time, mm -hmm. and I didn't know how that made her feel, mm -hmm. like, at that moment. Mm -hmm. I definitely feel the same way, too. Like, after just reflecting over the entire process, mm -hmm. like, it would have been great if I just accepted him and be like, okay, we got this, we're together, this is what we're doing. We're in it. We're anyway. in it. Yeah. So, through all of this, it seemed like there was this relationship that was brewing, that everything was going to be all good and everything was bubbling up. And mm. even though y'all had these little dust-ups going into decision day, there was no way in the world anybody thought that y'all weren't going to be together. What happened and what was going through your mind that you said no on decision day? For me, I didn't no, it was ever going to be a no. I was a yes. You know. Wait, hold on. What made you say no? I'm going to get to that point. Okay, I'm sorry. 